How you doing there, guys and gals? Uh, little update on the uh, M21 Trans. Uh, we'll start off down here in the shop. Uh, last video I made, I mentioned about the specific gear lube that you need for this. You know, the GL4 stuff over there. And you need to put in 48 ounces, okay? So that's what I did here. I used this here. Don't tell the wife I used her <laughs> potato salad thing. It's marked with ounces, so that worked out nice. Uh, so anyway, I got my gaskets in the mail. The place who I ordered, I just ordered the, uh, the side cover. But they were nice enough to send me a bunch of gaskets here, which I don't really need at the time, but that was nice of them. Uh, so I put that all back together, and uh, a little tip to putting this side cover on. Uh, if you don't have those uh, shifter forks in the right spot, you're going to have one hell of a time doing it. Uh, I forgot about that little trick, but uh, believe me, I learned real quick yesterday. And what you have to do is have the box in neutral, okay? And then you need the forks both to be in second gear. And being that the box is in neutral, you can just push up that, uh, that one set of gears in the back. It'll come up about an inch, and then you can get her in there. Because it's a little tough. You know, having a gasket that you're not trying to move around, and the uh, the you know the uh, permatex, and trying to land them two at the right spot, it's it's a bit of a trick. Uh, anyway, I got her painted up. She's looking good. I'm not done yet. Uh, we're gonna take you upstairs, and I'm gonna show you uh, what's going on next. Let's just take a little walk. <clears throat> We're gonna talk about uh, Hurst shifters, Competition Plus shifters. Old school, new school, all that good stuff. Hang on, fellas. All right, let's work our way over here. All righty. Today, I went down to my uh, local parts store and uh, I had ordered this here, uh, Her Shifter Performance Plus. Oh, look who's here to visit, my buddy. How you doing, Ozzy? You wanna say hi to the guys on YouTube? Uh, you wanna show them that big old face? I know, you want to go outside, right, fella? Okay, you go outside and let Daddy make the rest of this video. <clears throat> go ahead. All right. All right, where was I? Okay. I needed... All I needed was the, uh, the assembly kit, okay? to go onto an M21 Trans, all right? Here's your lovely directions. A lot of stuff to put together. Lots of little pieces and parts. Uh, not a big deal. What I most would like, the point of this video would be, the part numbers, for people looking up part numbers on these Hurst shifters, and uh, the linkage and uh, and all of that. Uh, first of all, Hearst has taken down their uh, parts list. You know the, the uh, you know their parts. Yeah, the parts list. Uh, especially all the old school stuff, right? You see, the old stuff had different numbers than the new stuff. You could have the same shifter with two different numbers. And that's a fact. Uh, they sold, you know, shifters by themselves that would have a number on it. Now, if that same shifter 
came with the uh, with, with this piece on the bottom, you know, to hook onto your uh, trans, then this same shifter would be called another number because it came with this. Okay, then if you bought all three together as a combo, that would be another number. Okay, so this gets confusing real quick. Uh, so, the best way I can tell you to do it is uh, Muncie's came out in 63, all right? They ran from 63 to 74. Uh, and uh, from 63 to 68, you had the stud coming out of the trans right here. Okay, and all you would do is put the nut on. That was from 63 to 68. Come 69, you had a bolt that put on and you grabbed it, the arm that ran through here. Okay? So that's really the only way of knowing what kit you're going to need here. I may not be wording this exactly the way I'd like to, but... Okay, we'll go on. Now this here is a uh, a shifter, an original shifter from a uh, from my Chevelle. I had an SS Chevelle back in the day, and the way to tell, just for the heck of it, is if you have a new shifter or an old shifter. Now, of course, they're going to be the same shape, but the old shifters, as you can see right there, were welded on the end where they attached to the linkages the ones from today I'll use this here as an example have bolts now although this is not the same shifter you can see I'm just using this to show you the difference between the old and the new here you got your weld there you got your bolts so <laughs> What you got to do is when you're looking for this uh, installation kit, get the kit that matches your transmission, okay? Because from there, you're going to have lots of trouble with these numbers, okay? I mean, I didn't get this together yet, so hopefully I've got what I need. I know I've got the right sh uh, kit if it comes to attaching to the trans, but I don't know if this new school stuff is going to go onto this old shifter. Because I know that's original. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, David's 4 Speeds uh, reconditioned this one for me. Okay. So, that's what I'm going to be using. Now, whether this is going to mate up to my trans without a hassle is yet to be seen. But I'm going to keep you posted. So anyway, uh, just a little info about these here shifters and linkages. It does get a bit confusing. And uh, going online looking these parts up, it's, it's not 100%. So I'll let you know how this all turns out. Uh, so that's about it for today. Uh, is it with this video and uh, just want to say hi to everybody and uh, have a good day fellas wish me luck